and we're gonna get started. So if you have the playlist, if you want to listen to some music, go ahead and put it on. And then we're gonna make our way into a comfortable seated position. So cross-legged, if that feels good for you. Somewhere towards the middle of your mat. And just go ahead and get settled, rest your hands wherever comfortable, close your eyes. Taking some nice deep breaths. Breathing in through the nose. And as you exhale, maybe sigh it out through your mouth. Maybe you've had a busy day or a busy week so far. Stressful day or a stressful week so far. So hopefully this class helps to bring you a little bit of relaxation. Helps you to let go a little bit of the stress that starts to build physically when we start to get mentally overwhelmed. We will keep things sweet and simple tonight as we move into postures and then melt into some stillness. Start to feel your breath a little bigger. As you sit up a little bit taller with each inhale. And feel your shoulders soften with each exhale. Inhale again, grow tall. Feel the center of your chest rise up. Exhale, drop your shoulders away from your ears. And inhale, lengthen from tailbone all the way up to the top of the head. Exhale, soften the jaw, the neck, and the shoulders. Staying with a nice steady rhythm of your breath. Coming back to it whenever you need to. And just moving in a way that feels good for you tonight. Start to drop your chin to your chest and allow your head to roll side to side. Over to the right, back to your chest, over to the left. Just stay with a couple gentle half neck rolls. Keeping the jaw, the shoulders and the neck relaxed. Next time your head sways over to the right, keep it there, right ear to right shoulder. Maybe tilt the chin up or down, just taking tiny movements to feel where the sensation is the most, where you need to stay and breathe into. And coming into stillness when you find a good spot and if you'd like to walk the left fingertips out onto the floor beside your left hip, you can for a little bit more intensity. Feeling the stretch from the ear all the way down through the shoulder, maybe into the upper back. If the left hand is out, bring it back onto the leg. Slowly drop your chin towards your chest, head rolls over to the left. Chin back to your chest, head rolls over to the right. And last time, take it over to the left and then hold left ear to left shoulder. Maybe tilting the chin up or down to see where a good spot is to stay, where you feel the most sensation, the part that needs a bit more attention. Unless you found that spot, stay there and breathe. And if you'd like to walk the right fingertips onto the floor beside the right hip, you can. Just for a little bit more intensity, keep the right shoulder relaxed. If 
The right hand is out, bring it back onto the leg. One more time, each side, your chin will roll to your chest, head comes over to the right. And then roll it all the way over to the left, just to even it out. Chin back to your chest. Lift your head all the way up. Flutter the eyes open if they are closed. Bring your hands onto your knees, spread your fingers wide, get a nice grip on the knees. And as you inhale, start to lift your chest up for a bit of seated cat-cow. Exhale, start to round the spine, tuck your chin, tuck your tailbone. Inhale again, lift your chest up, draw your shoulder blades together and down. As you exhale, round the spine, feel your shoulder blades spread wide. Just moving back and forth between your seated cat and your seated cow at your own pace, with your own breath. Just feeling your body start to move, your spine start to wake up. And then let's come back to this seated cow so the chest will be lifted. And then walk your hands behind you. Prop up onto the fingertips as you lift your chest up, keeping the shoulders down, the shoulder blades squeezing together at the back. Take a few deep breaths across the front of the chest, the collarbone. Take a nice full inhale. And as you exhale, allow the hands to walk forward. Come into a fold, hands out long in front of you or arms out long in front of you. Drop the head down between the arms. Gently push your hands into the ground as you push your hips down as well. Feeling the length up and down your spine. Slowly walk your hands back towards your body. And then switch the cross of your legs. So opposite one is in front. Place your hands back onto your knees. Take a big inhale, start to lift your chest up as though you're doing seated cat cow, but as you exhale, start to circle your upper body over towards the right. Round through the spine at the back. Inhale, starts to take you over to the left until you're back at the center, chest forward. Keep going. Make a big circle with the upper body. Inhale, glides you over to the left, chest forward, over to the right. Meeting back in the center and let's switch directions over to the left. Just staying with your breath, noticing how this feels in your body. Imagine you're just scraping out the inside of a barrel, getting every edge. Finish off. Neat back with the chest lifted. And again, one more time, walk your hands behind you. If you'd like this time, you can press your palms down into the mat if that feels all right. Really squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift your chest up, gaze up, or if you'd like to drop your head back, go ahead. Taking deep breaths, creating space to the front of the body. Take one more big breath in. As you exhale, start to round forward, walk your hands forward, come back into a fold. Arms are long, head is heavy. Maybe you prop up onto the fingertips for a little more space. Keep pressing your hips down towards the ground. Pressing your fingertips down as well, feeling the stretch from fingers all the way down the spine. Now start to lift your head and make your way up into a child's pose. So taking the knees as wide as you'd like, bring your big toes to touch, sink your hips towards your heels. Keep your arms long, fingers spread wide. Drop your head down onto the mat. Feel your hips reach back as your arms reach forward. Feel the stretch on the backs of the arms. The bit of pressure in the hips, but the length in the low back. Take a nice big breath in together. Exhale it out. 
Next inhale, start to rise up into a table. Slide the hands under the shoulders. As you exhale, bring the hips back into your child's pose. Again, inhale, rise up into table. Shoulders stacked above the wrists. Exhale, bring it back to your child's pose. One more like that. Inhale, come on up into your table. Back into your child's. This time, as you inhale, rise up into your table, but sweep your right arm behind you. Make a nice big circle with the right arm. As you exhale, plant the hand back, hips towards your heels, child's pose. Staying on the right hand side, inhale, rise up, reach the right arm, big circle up. As you exhale, place it down, hips back to the heels. One more like that, inhale, rise up, big circle with the right arm as you reach up to the sky. Exhale, plant it down, hips to heels. This time, let's take a breath in, rise and reach the right arm up. And as you exhale, slide the right arm underneath of the left for a little thread the needle, shoulders stretch, drop the right shoulder down. You can keep your hips lifted up above the knees or you can sink them back into more of a child's pose. Take the left arm wherever is comfortable, maybe long out in front of you, maybe bent, maybe wrapped around the low back or using your hand as a pillow and begin to really rest the weight of your upper body onto your right arm. The more you can rest the weight of the upper body, the more stretch you'll feel. Try to relax the right arm. Take nice big breaths. Notice if you can allow yourself to sink into it as you breathe deeper. Your body starts to relax as your breath slows down. yourself one more big inhale exhale it out begin to slide the left hand onto the mat in front of your face press your hand into the mat as you inhale sweep the right arm up as you exhale place it down hips to the heels child's pose pause here for a breath or two head heavy arms can be relaxed and just notice how one side feels and then how the other side feels. And start to spread the fingers wide, grip the mat with the fingertips, lift the elbows off of the mat. As you inhale, rise up into a table. And as you exhale, hips to the heels. Let's do two more like that. Inhale, come up into a table. Feel the belly slightly engage. Exhale, back to child's. Last one like that. Inhale, up into your table. Exhale, back into your child's. This time, as you inhale up into your table, circle the left arm behind you. Reach up towards the sky. As you exhale, plant the hand, hips to the heels. Again, inhale, sweep the left arm back, let the hips lift above the knees, reach up. Exhale, hand comes down, back to child's pose. Got one more like that. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, plant it down, hips back. This time, inhale, rise up, sweep the left arm back. And as you exhale, slide it underneath of the right, drop the left shoulder down, rest your head down, maybe onto your right hand, maybe onto the mat. Relax the right arm down into the mat. Maybe wrap it around behind you if you'd like, if that feels comfortable. And if it doesn't feel comfortable to have the hips above the knees, you can sink them back closer to your child's pose. Do your best to relax the left arm to rest the weight of your upper body on the left arm. 
Send deep breaths into the shoulder and the upper back. Feel yourself soften with each exhale. Letting go of that stress that builds up. That our bodies carry around with us all day, every day. This is the perfect time to release it, to work on letting it go. To notice how our bodies react. Notice what parts of our bodies get stiff and tight that hold the emotions, the stress. And without any judgment, just being here with that. Give yourself one more big inhale. Exhale, where can you soften? Slide the right hand in front of the face. Press your hand into the mat as you inhale, reach the left arm up. As you exhale, place it down, make your way back to your child's pose. Just take one big breath in. Big breath out. And as you inhale, begin to rise up, tuck your toes under, send your hips back and up into your first downward facing dog. And I'll invite you to pedal it out, to bend one knee, to bend the other, to move as you need to move. Feeling the mat below your fingertips as you press and ground them down. Feeling the mat beneath the toes and the balls of your feet, maybe even your heels. Come to stillness in your downward dog. Really feel your hips reach up high towards the sky. Gazing towards your feet so your neck is relaxed. Can you push into the mat a little bit more? Feel the spine lengthen. Now start to slowly walk your hands back towards your feet. So you're in a forward fold, the back of the mat. Knees can be bent, head is heavy. Let's grab opposite elbows and sway a little side to side. Just letting gravity take over. Letting it take a hold of the upper body. Begin to release your hands down. Round up. Feel your feet press down. The knees can stay as bent as you need them to be. Running all the way up to standing at the back of the mat. Take a big breath and reach your arms overhead. And we're gonna grab opposite elbows again with the right arm in front. Take a big breath in, stretch up. As you exhale, lengthen up and over to the right, send your hips left. Inhale, come back up to center. Exhale to the left, send your hips right. Inhale, back up to center. This time as you sway to the right, allow yourself to keep going. So you're gonna make a nice big circle Soften the knees, fold all the way down. Inhale, starts to bring you all the way back up on the left-hand side, back to center. Again, exhale slowly so you don't get dizzy. Soften the knees, fold down. Your inhale carries you back up over on the left-hand side. One more time like that, exhale over to the right. Fold all the way down. Inhale, slow, rise up on the left-hand side. And this time, let's come over to the right. Fold all the way and stay in your fold. Pause. Drop your hands down. Crawl forward into downward dog. Spread the fingers. Keep the hands shoulder width, the feet hip width. Let's take a big breath in and stretch the right leg up towards the sky into a three-legged dog. You can allow the hip to open if you'd like. And take some circles with the right ankle, just move it around both directions. Wiggle the toes, maybe point and flex the foot. 
you know, anything that's stuck there in the ankle or the foot. And let's bend the right knee. Allow your hip to open even more. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, start to circle the knee. We're going to take two circles in one direction. Drawing a nice big circle with the right knee. Make it slow and even. Make it the smoothest circle you've ever drawn with your knee. Then you'll switch directions. But take your time. Feel the hip. Feel the weight even in both hands. Once you finish off that second circle, second side, let's come forward, pull the knee in. Pause here, feel your strength. Step your foot up and lower the left knee gently down onto the mat. Take a moment to feel your low lunge, feet pressing down. And then when you're ready, rise up. Arms overhead, grab opposite elbows, right arm in front. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, stretch to the right. Inhale, back up to center. Exhale, over to the left. This time, inhale, come on up. Exhale to the right and hold here. So think about sending your hips forward and down. Pressing down through the front right heel. Gently squeezing the inner thighs. If you'd like to take your right hand to your right hip, you can. Maybe your right fingertips can graze the mat or a block if you have one to get a little bit more space down the left hand side. Feeling the stretch from your fingertips all the way down through the left hip. Keep the left shoulder rolling open. Use your next inhale to come all the way up, both arms overhead. As you exhale, hands come down. Shift your hips back into half splits. So the right toes lift. The right leg is long. Use your block if you need to or prop up onto your fingertips. Try to level the hips. Make sure they're not pushing over to the right too much. Pull the right hip in. And breathe. Maybe relax the neck. Drop the chin to the chest. Soften the jaw and the shoulders, just like the beginning. Feel your inhales lengthen your spine. Exhale, reach your hips towards your heels. Next inhale, slowly crawl forward, back into a low lunge. Plant the left hand down under your left shoulder. And as you inhale, start to reach the right arm up and roll to the edge of your right foot. As you exhale, bring your right hand down, press your right foot down. Keep going. Inhale, reach the right arm up, roll to the edge of your foot. And exhale, bring it down, press your foot back down. Let's take two more. Inhale, reach up, really roll open. Exhale, press the foot down, right hand comes down. Last one, inhale, reach it up. Exhale, bring it down. Bring your right fingertips onto the mat and start to heel toe your foot all the way over to the left edge of your mat, setting up for pigeon. Nice and gently, you'll lower the hips down. Untuck the back toes if they were tucked. Make sure to see that your toes are pointing straight back, the ankle is straight. And you can stay upright for a few breaths if you'd like to lift the chest. And when you're ready, you can come forward. If you have a block and you need to bring it underneath of your right hip, you can. If you want to bring it underneath of your forearms or your chest or your forehead, you can do that as well. We're going to stay here for a few nice, long, deep breaths. So settle in. You don't need to go deep to feel this posture, so just find your edge, that first bit of sensation. And then come back to your breath. In these postures that are difficult and uncomfortable, that feel really intense, try and make your breath even bigger and more powerful. 
and let your breath consume you rather than the thoughts and the overwhelming sensations. Focus on what you can control and remind yourself that you are in control. So if it does get to be too much, you can always pull back or you can make your breath bigger. Only here for a little bit longer. So if you feel like you've opened up, you might want to lower gently a little more or stay right where you are. Keep breathing, softening. Take one more big inhale. Nice slow exhale. Slowly start to lift your head, walk your hands underneath of your shoulders. So gently you'll tuck the back toes, begin to lift the back knee as you step back into downward dog and pedal it out. Like you're taking a little walk, feeling the blood rush through the hip. Feeling the sensation start to travel. Take whatever movement you need right now. Shake it out. Find stillness in your dog. Inhale, roll forward into plank. Drop the knees down. Lower the belly down. Inhale to lift your chest, just a little cobra. Exhale, push yourself back. Hips to the heels, tuck the toes, and lift your hips back and up into your downward facing dog. Find stillness in your dog. Steady through the feet. Start to walk your hands back towards your feet, crawling to the back of the mat. Upper body heavy. Slowly round up. One vertebrae at a time. Coming to standing at the back of the mat, and let's move through the other side. So taking a big breath in, arms overhead, grab opposite elbows, this time the left arm in front. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, stretch over to the left, push your hips right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right, push your hips left. Inhale, lengthen, stand tall. Exhale over to the left and you'll keep going, making a big circle with your torso, soften the knees. Your inhale pulls you back up on the right hand side. So move nice and slow. And if you feel like you're getting dizzy, you can always pause. Keep going with the breath. Inhale carries you back up. Feeling the stretch here down both sides of the body. So we're finishing one more full circle. And then this time, let's slowly come all the way back down. Forward fold. Release your hands down, crawl back forward into your downward dog. Strong through the hands, press the fingers and the bottom knuckles down into the mat. And strong inhale, lift the left leg up, three-legged dog. Allow your hip to open. And then circle the ankle, move the toes. Point and flex. Feel this foot, what it's gone through today, what it's gone through this week. And begin to bend the left knee, allow the foot to fall towards your right hip. And then let's start to make nice big circles with the left knee. Take two in one direction and then switch directions. Try to move slow, really imagine you're drawing a circle. Big and smooth, even, following your breath, feeling this side as you try to keep even weight in both hands and the right heel reaching down. Once you've finished and you're evened it out, come forward into plank, pull your knee in towards your chest, hold your belly button to spine, step your foot up between your hands, 
gently lower your right knee down. On your comfortable stance for your low lunge, press down through the left heel. Inhale, rise up, arms all the way overhead. Grab opposite elbows, left arm in front. Inhale, you grow tall. Exhale, stretch to the left. Inhale again, lengthen. Exhale on over to the right. Inhale, center. To the left and hold. Really push the hips gently forward and down, but at the same time you're pressing through the left heel. Rolling the right shoulder back a little. Gently squeezing the inner thighs. Maybe taking the left hand to the left hip, still reaching the right arm up and over, or maybe seeing if you can bring the left fingertips down onto the mat. As you keep the chest lifted, keep your breath steady. Feel the space, the big stretch through the right hip, the right side of the body. Next inhale, let's reach both arms up. Exhale, plant the hands down. And then shift the hips back, half splits, lift the left toes. Use your block if you'd like under your hands. Hips reach back, chest reaches forward. Making sure your hips are relatively level. Flex the left foot. And drop your chin slowly towards your chest. Feel the length on the back of the left leg. The spine long. Slowly start to walk back forward. Low lunge as you bend the left knee. This time right hand plants under right shoulder. As you inhale, reach the left arm up, roll to the edge of the left foot, open your hip. As you exhale, bring the hand and the foot down. A few more, inhale, really roll back, roll the shoulder back with the chest. Exhale, lower the foot, hand comes down. Two more with your breath. Flexing the left foot. One more, inhale, reach. Exhale, bring it down. And then start to heel toe the left foot over to the right edge of your mat. Gently lower the left shin down, lowering your hips. Left heel in front of your right hip. Untuck the right toes, make sure they're pointing straight back. Walk your hands back for a moment. Breathe as you lift your chest up. Then when you're ready, you can melt down, either onto the block, maybe sliding something underneath of your left hip if it feels really high off of the floor, resting your head either on the floor or your hands or the block. Find that first edge on this side where you feel the sensation. Normally pretty easy to feel in this one right off the bat. Somewhere where you can breathe. And as you breathe, think about sending your breath into where you feel the sensation. Most likely it'll be the outer left hip and glute, but maybe also through the front of the right hip. And keep following your breath, sending it to those places, creating more space and getting rid of that tension, that built up stress in the body. Are the shoulders creeping up to the ears? Can you soften them down? Relax your jaw. Maybe you found a little bit more space and want to come deeper, or maybe you stay right where you are. This is your practice, so listen to your own body. Listen to the sound of your breath, the sounds around you. Take one more full inhale 
a smooth exhale. Slowly start to lift your head. Gently bring the hands under the shoulders, tuck your back toes and step back to downward dog and walk it out gently, slowly. Feel the intensity start to wash through you, moving through the leg, through the hip. The blood flows freely now. When you're ready, come into stillness in your downward dog. Take a big breath in, lift the heels, lift the hips, come forward to plank. Gently drop the knees, then lower all the way down to the mat. Take an inhale, lift your chest up, little cobra. Exhale, lower back down this time. Let's take two more like that. Inhale, chest lifts up. Exhale, lower. And this last one, take a breath in, lift. Exhale, push back, take a child's pose. Hips towards the heels, head rests down. Relax the arms. Using the next couple breaths to walk your hands under your shoulders to make your way on up and to swing your legs out in front of you and make your way onto your back. Nice and slowly, taking your time. Lowering all the way down to your back. Hug your knees into your chest. Take a little gentle rock side to side. I'm going to finish off with a really gentle twist. The next time your knees drop over, fall over to the right, let them keep going till they land on the floor. You can take your arms out wide or over your head. I like to rest my right hand on my left knee. You can close your eyes and let your head flop over to the left. Think about sinking the shoulders down, relaxing the jaw. Follow your breath up and down your spine. One more big breath in. And a slow breath out. Slowly turn your head back to center, followed by the legs. Give yourself a little squeeze, a little rock. Pulling the knees in, gentle massage for the low back. And then slowly allow your legs to fall over to the left. Gently land onto the floor, and you might need to adjust them, that's all right. Take a moment or two to decide where your arms would like to be, where your head would like to be. And then once you've found a good spot, then just close your eyes. Feel your belly rise and fall. You relax in the lower body, the legs and the hips. Where are you still holding your tension and your stress? Can you picture your breath being sent to that space to create more space? Breathing through the tension, breathing through the built up stress. Your last full inhale. 
Last slow exhale. Slowly turn your head back, then bring your legs on up. Give yourself one more little hug, little rock. And if there's any final movement that you'd like to take, go ahead if you want a happy baby or stretch the legs up, whatever you need. And when you're ready, set the feet down and just make your way into your final savasana. Whatever that looks like for you tonight. Wherever your body would like to be. Taking these last few moments. Close the eyes. Feel your breath. Feel the shift in your body and in your mind. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of movement and a lot of breath to make things feel different. It doesn't need to be fancy or challenging. Slowing down and winding down is challenging in its own way. So take as much time as you need here to settle, to let your practice sink in. I will leave you to enjoy your savasana. Thanks to everybody that joined and I hope to see you very, very soon. Namaste.